Jake from BOR TV live at Romeo Fest 2014. I'm here with the Brass Buckle Band. Sound like our crowd was having a good time at your country hoedown. Do you agree? I think that Romeoville has one of the best country crowds in the northwest suburbs or the southwest suburbs or wherever we are right now because we do a show that seems like every weekend <laughs> in the country. Uh, these guys were rowdy and uh, we love the hospitality here and being here and uh, we hope to be back and do another show because it was absolutely fantastic. All right. Um, on that note, since you guys sing country, I'm going to ask each of you guys, who's your favorite country artist and why? We'll start with you, Mr. Lead Singer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> my uh, no, uh, no surprise here, but a bit, big inspiration for me would be uh, Kenny Chesney uh, because of uh, he had a huge influence on, on me when I was younger and uh, going to a lot of his concerts. He had a, a tremendous stage presence that I think was needed on a local level and uh, something that I wanted to bring to the local level and really amp up uh, what is, you know, left of country music in Chicago right now. And uh, I think uh, with this team of guys here, uh, we're definitely getting uh, our stride in. So. And you, sir? I'd have to say my favorite country artist is probably say John Denver, a little more old school. Oh, um, yeah. this, this is my first country band, so I'm still getting used to all the <laughs> modern country. But I, I think he paved a lot of way for uh, all right. Um, so, how long have you guys been a band, and what is your favorite town to play in? Boy, man, you're putting me on the spot now. <laughs> what TV station is it? Is this we're in? Uh, well, uh, what is our favorite? What is your favorite like place to play at? Place to play at? Boy, uh, right now I would say Romeoville <laughs> takes the cake on all of it. You guys got one heck of a stage, one heck of a crowd, one heck of an atmosphere. And uh, this rivals a lot of places that we've played inside or outside. And I'm telling tell you, it's, uh, it's somewhere where we would love to return and do it again. All right. And just for kicks for other people that didn't come to the show today, what are your, your top three most requested songs that a lot of people like to listen to when you go to a show? Do <laughs> you have any that you can say? He, he's the guy. Who did SES. Oh, I don't know. Top three? <laughs> I don't know. It's well, too tough. It's the, uh, it'd be uh, wet. Or it'd definitely be uh, 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 Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy, probably for number three. Okay. Uh, number two, Country Girl. And the number one, as of late, is Wagon Wheel. We've been playing that song before the great Darius Rucker being popular. And uh, over the course of the last year, it uh, is Anything else you want to add to that list? Okay, Toby Keith impersonator. Um, what's your favorite song to play? My favorite song to play in this band. Wow, that's tough. That's that's tough. But right now, probably I hold on. The newer ones are a lot of fun. I also like. Uh, the new Dwight Yoakam one we've had, Guitars and Cadillacs, is a lot of fun, kind of a more vintage country song. This guy gets to play some really cool Tony licks, so there's, most of them are just a blast. And for just kicks, how can people connect with you on social media and all of that? Oh, we got Facebook, we got Twitter, what else we got? We got, our, we got a great website. Reverb Nation, we got a website. Jam Bass. Jam Bass. Okay, we're Brass at uh, www.brassbuckleband.com. Uh, we're on Facebook. Uh, we, we do have a Twitter handle. We're on YouTube. Uh, we're Instagram now. We're just launching our new Instagram account because that's the new thing. And uh, we're going to be uh, hopefully to a town uh, close to you soon <laughs> and back here soon, too. So check us out. All right. Thank you for your country hoedown and thank you for the interview. And good luck at your next show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, boys. Jake Knoll for VOR TV. This has been an on air interview. Good night.